Yo, what is up everybody? Today I have my most highly requested video, which is my controller settings and sensitivity. So in this video, I'll be showing you my settings and uh, also what I recommend for everyone else. So let's get right into it. I want to start off by saying I use an Elite 2 Xbox controller with uh, two paddles. My left paddle is B and my right one is A. So that would be slide and jump. But for the button layout, I use default. Uh, I know button jump or bumper jumper, like if you don't have paddles is really good. I used to use that in previous games when I didn't have paddles. So yeah, I know that's really good. Uh, everything else I've never really used before, so I can't speak on it. But I would definitely recommend if you don't play claw, and you don't have paddles like bumper jumper is uh really good stick layout uh default most of this is just just preference crouch button uh you can use toggle or hold both really good aim button i would definitely recommend hold uh trigger dead zones none for the menu cursor speed i'm pretty sure for pc controller players it's all the same like the it doesn't like if i turn it all the way up it won't be fast any faster than it is now but for a console i know if you turn it up it's it's definitely faster so uh, just that's all preference whatever you feel like you can control I would definitely try to move it up as high as you can but if you can't control it when it's maxed out then use whatever you can over here we got the look sensitivity and stuff now this doesn't matter for me because I use advanced look controls uh, as you can see ALC enabled but I will say when I was on console I just switched like a few months ago but uh, when I was on Xbox I use regular 6-4 sensitivity classic response curve small look dead zone I did not use advanced look controls, so definitely regular sensitivity is good, but I do think that ALC is better. So, a uh, movement dead zone, small, inverted look, obviously off, don't want that. And then vibrations, just whatever you prefer. I have mine off, been doing that for years, so. All right, so let's go down to advanced look controls. First thing you wanna do is turn advanced look controls on, so do that. And then for this, I would recommend having a lower dead zone pretty much what everyone uses definitely don't want to crank it up too much you won't be able to control it but outer threshold response curve doesn't really matter too much just you know I you can copy mine make it near mine just have it lower so most of this is not gonna matter like everything besides the yaw speed and pitch speed are not really gonna matter that you can pretty much just copy everything else especially the ramp up time stuff like that crank that all the way down you don't need to worry about that. What we're going to focus on is the yaw speed and pitch speed and then the ADS yaw speed and ADS pitch speed. So I have, as you can see, I have mine all the way maxed up. This is how quickly you turn left and right when, when you're not aiming down sights. So I have mine all the way maxed out. I would not recommend that it is really fast. That's why you guys see me like flicking around, like I play really twitchy. So um, I would recommend having it like around here. Especially if you're on PC, you gotta keep up with these crackdown mouse and key players. You wanna have it up a decent amount. Uh, you don't wanna have it all the way down. It's gonna be too low. You're not gonna be able to react fast enough. You'll have a hell of a hip fire shot, but yeah, I would I would recommend having it around here, like 75%. Um, unless, you know, I've been using high sensitivity for a while now, so I'm able to control it when it's maxed out. If you feel like you're able to do that, then definitely go for it. It's possible. My recommended one would be around like 75, like around here, yeah. But uh, pitch speed, I have this about 40%. This is how quickly you turn up and down. Uh, you don't want to be turning up and down too fast because there's really no point. Like if someone's jumping in the air, you don't you don't need to be that fast. So I would have it around here uh, or lower, it's all up to you. But um, yeah, for sure. You don't want to have that one cranked up like, like the left and right. Turning actually, y'all just have that maxed out like that one or whatever, whatever you have your y'all speed at. So ADS yaw speed, you want to have this, this is your, how fast you're turning left and right while aiming down sights. So I have mine around here. Uh, I would definitely recommend this. It's kind of fast, but I think it's definitely controllable. I didn't turn mine up too much because I couldn't control it. So I would recommend either around here, maybe lower down to like the line. Um, if you really, it'll be a, bit, a lot better for tracking if you have it lower. But yeah, I have mine around here because I like to play higher sensitivity. You don't want it like cranked up or anything like you did the non-ADS or like I have the non-ADS because you definitely want to be able to track people. ADS pitch speed, this is how fast you're moving up and down while aiming down sights. You don't want to have it too high, like I said, for the left and right because this is when you're aiming down sights, you're tracking people. There's really no point to have it too high unless you're like flick shotting and that type of thing. But uh, I would recommend around here maybe lower 
And yeah, all of this doesn't really matter. The ramp, the ramp up time, you want to have like all the way down. But uh, target compensation, this is aim assist. This is like what everyone's talking about lately. Is it broken? Is it not? Uh, but you want to have this on if you're a controller player for sure. Uh, there's a reason why we have it. We need it to a certain degree, so you want to have that on. So that is my controller settings. And if this video did help you out and you enjoyed it, make sure to like and subscribe. Also follow me on Twitch where I stream daily. The link will be in the description. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video. Just going to throw on some clips showing off the sensitivity. And yeah, you guys have a great day. Appreciate you watching. Reloading. Did you in here? Cells. Giving my shields a recharge. Don't chase her in his Another squad's attacking. Purple pass. Oh, okay, dude. He do be having that perp. Yeah. One on the bottom coming up and one on top. Oh, the team. Nice. I don't know how I'm alive, but I'm alive. I'm yeah. I just got fired. Look out, grenade. Eyes are open though. Forty five seconds. Look out, grenade. Need to recharge my shields. Down. It's just never f***ing ending, man. Need to recharge my shield. Just 10 seconds. And he got gold. Man, he be lagging. Squad. Oh, there's more. Yay! Honestly, I don't mind the amount of people who just like fuck you with this show. Need to recharge my shield. Squad. Need to recharge my shield. I'll be sick of these. With ease. Came real close. You just be hitting everything right now. You just Post be hitting fucking down. everything right Need now, dude. Need to my shield. Oh, right. Madness? CLG? Yeah, yeah. Yes. That's the last of that squad. Dude, I don't think he's gonna be on for a while. It's not I thought it was- I thought it was a lot later than it was. Charge. If they're taking the zip now. One came out. Above, where we came from. Me. I'm a he fell. Need to recharge my shield. Down to another. Now they're coming up. Making contact with enemy. He's one shot. Yeah. Still right below. Only one of 
another squad left, friend. Let's win. The ring is closed. Back in. Look out and... This team is so cool. I can see that the ring's moving on the back. A winner has been appointed. Bro, that was such that was such a such a rip. On the way down, I hit her 22 twice in the head with the PK. That you she was are the Apex champions. Yeah, just couldn't hit more than one, like one pellet.